I'd just as soon get started. Um, don't have a lot of new news. Uh, we have the uh, usual collection of viewers in the cohorts. We just, a few minutes ago, updated the latest maintenance viewer. Um, and we have the Alex Ivy, the 64-bit viewer, and the voice viewer out there. Um, the maintenance viewer has gotten a couple of crash fixes that we think are important. Uh, it also got one other fix that I want to point out to you. Uh, I will put it in chat here. Uh, this is a, a pull request at Bitbucket. You should be able to see that. Um, it would be good to integrate that uh, into any releases you're going to do, into whatever your next release is. Um, what it is, is that we discovered um, the hard way, as usual, that uh, some of the low-level code involved in login had a very, very fast and very, very aggressive retries if it got certain failures from the HTTP uh, wrapper around login. And uh, what that, and uh, the situation we had some, some weeks back, we had a, a network connectivity outage. It was literally a backhoe incident. A backhoe chopped one of the main network connections into our data center. And uh, the, uh, the resulting storm of attempts, it happened at a pretty high traffic time. And the resulting storm of people trying to log in through the one of the alternative network connections uh, flooded the login servers. And it took quite a while to get them um, it was essentially a denial of service attack. Um, and it turns out that it was our own code that was doing the denial of service attack by retrying failed uh, timed out logins way, way, way too fast. So this corrects that. Uh, we will probably be looking for similar things elsewhere um, in our code to make sure that we don't have any, any other problems like it. Uh, but I suspect that that same code is in most, if not all, viewers. So uh, do please pick up that change. Um, it's, there's a pretty good chance that the maintenance viewer will get promoted relatively soon. Uh, it's probably the leading candidate for promotion right this minute. Um, but if you're planning to do a release and you don't want to wait for that, just pull this pull request and integrate it, please, um, so that we reduce the number of people out there who can participate in the retry storm. Um, so uh, that's my little, uh, you know, plea for the day. Uh, other than that, I don't have any other big news or announcements to make right now. So the floor is open. 64-bit viewer is, uh, you know, um, it's it's got a higher crash rate than we would be happy with. Um, we're still, we're making some changes that will get us better crash data on it, we hope, uh, so that we can analyze why it seems to have a high crash rate. Um, it is true that the 32-bit version of it has really high crash rates. Um, and the um, and then the some of the the, the 64-bit versions are better, but they're still not as much better as they're not as good as we'd like them to be. Um, so yes, uh, but we've we've finally got repros for your for your crash, early, So I'm I'm hoping that we'll. 
Um, and, and in fact, I believe I've seen, well, I've seen the same crash in other viewers. I'm not sure why the frequency of it for you is different on 64-bit, but I believe it has happened elsewhere as well. So uh, I think we'll, it may take a little, little time, but we are, we are hunting that one. Yeah, the websites are all back up. Man. Uh, yeah, I believe everything is working again. I'm, I I don't know that we've got a definitive analysis of what went wrong earlier today. It. Um, yeah, attachments, I, I think they're still working on. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, I'm not, I've been heads down on a different problem, so. Uh. Great, Grumpity. Because um, that's, that and the updates in terms of service are the topics of the day, shall we say. Right, well the, the terms of service update seems to have had something to do with triggering the problems with logins, although uh, just exactly why we have not yet worked out. But uh, that's out there. Actually, those, those terms of service have been posted for a few weeks on the website. It's just that we flipped the switch that says you have to agree to them again. Uh, yep. It's, uh, sorry, it's one right. of those things, uneducated users, and I'll shut up at that. I do want to, since this is the first meeting I've been at in quite a while, I do want to thank you, uh, Linden Lab Grumpity, Oz, everybody at Linden Lab for the change in the default volume for music. At least now they can hear us when we try to tell them how to turn it off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we got something right. It happens from time to time. Uh, Annie, you had a question? Uh, yeah, I do. I also, it's with regards to... um. The land and parcel functions. Is there any way that something can be added to, to limit things like um, ambient sounds to a particular parcel? Is that or is that even possible? Um, I hesitate to make any assertions about about that because I would have said we already had it, but. I'm not, but there are many sources of sounds, and whether or not all of them apply, have all the same applicability to the, there is a, there is a, a, a parcel setting for limit sounds to this. Yeah, restrict uh, gesture and object sounds to this parcel. Yeah. So, are you referring to some other well, kind of sound? I, oh, well, just, I see things like avatar sound just, and, and voice, but there's things like, people can rest things like um, bird sounds that are in objects and things, kind of like... Um, yeah, I have a bunch can of them rest on part my part. Sex for butterflies. Right. Apparently that cannot be um, limited to the parcel. But I may be wrong on that, but some people that I've, I've talked to us are saying that they can hear things like their neighbors on um, birds and stuff chirping. But it doesn't seem to be, if it can be done, it doesn't seem to be done in the about land functions. Ah, right. The problem, right, I think, I think the key is that um, it's a, 
it's a one-way function. It's you can limit what goes out of your parcel. You can't limit what comes in. That is, I think Willie's got it right. Right. It's not a cone of silence. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. yes, thanks. That's what. That's kind of what I was wondering if there was a way to do that, or if it was just something that was one way. Because as I said, I've had some people that were saying that they had heard things. They were hearing things such as their neighbors' ambient sounds, and they had had it set up to restrict avatar sounds and voices and um, gestures and things to their parcel, but they could still hear things like. Um, Birds chirping in trees and water running and stuff like that. So I, I didn't know if that could be blocked. Uh, they, yeah, I mean, it's probably possible to implement that. Um, I would hesitate to change the scope of the existing setting because it would change things for people who didn't expect it to change. But uh, if somebody wanted to work out how to do it in the other direction, have a, a separate switch for the other direction, we might be able to. Incorporate that. Uh, what I meant was we might be able to do a feature request to, and, and especially if someone was to work out, since this is all in the viewer, uh, or essentially all in the viewer, um, we we could take a code change that would uh, support um, also having a different block in the other direction. That is, you know, limit outside sounds from outside the parcel. Right. Well, we know what the source is. You don't you don't hear the sounds from things that you don't know about, so. Any other topics? Well, the big ones you're already working on, and you can't tell us anything about it. What you see, <laughs> attachment problem. <laughs> oh well, 
I, I, the only reason I can't tell you anything about it is that I don't know anything about it, but, um, yeah. uh, I, I, uh, I, I, what I can tell you about it is that lots of people are scurrying around trying to solve it, even as we speak, and they're a phenomenally skilled group, so. Uh, yeah. It, it was just so random. I mean, some people were affected. Uh, Flossie, for example, was heavily affected by it. Uh, almost nothing she could put on worked. Um, in my case, I hadn't changed all day. I went. To, I, I tried it when I logged out, and I had no problem. So, it's been a weird one. Yep. I <laughs> love the blog posts that explain it to them. Uh, yeah, I I eagerly await the postmortem on that one, but. Um, it's a little early for that because we're not post yet. Um, Uh, and just in case, uh, for those of you who who do us the much appreciated service of being the front line to users who would prefer to talk to you than to us, uh, Sansar is having their um, open beta opening on Monday, and uh, Second Life is not going away. Not even a little bit. We keep telling them that, Oz. Uh, well, I just wanted to confirm it. Oh, well, it's, it's next week anyway. Because it's going to happen while we're doing our summer get-together. No, no, we're going to be very busy, actually. We're going to be getting together and planning the planning the next several months. Well, proposing things to do in the next several months and discussing them. Yeah. We, uh, we're, we're, it's, uh, it's a periodic thing that we do, and it's really great. Okay, chicken a little. Uh, no other topics? Grumpity, uh, you're not being very convincing. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try harder next time. There is one more thing, actually, Oz. 
Yeah. Are you, are you still considering some more changes to the estate tools? Estate tools. Like a, like being able to uh, select more than four, see more than four people yes. on the band list. Yes. Oh yeah, that's. Yes. We are, I promise, we are. There's just that, been so much stuff going on that we haven't gotten to it, but it is like one of the openly act, open active tabs on my browser still. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just give me a little bit more time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll even put you back on my Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and actually, we're we're always kind of on the lookout for things we can do to be nice to landowners or premium users or merchants or anybody else that's fueling the economy of Second Life. Yeah, uh, it's, it's 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 one of those things that most people aren't going to have the problem because they're not going to have a big ban list. Uh, Flossie and I just cleared uh, social uh, the gateways ban list out again. We got it down to what 260 people this time from 470 something, and it took hours. Cool. Yeah, it's 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 weeks before an attachment is blocked. At least before an account is blocked. You mean. That's what I meant. An account is blocked. I was reading the word attachment when I was <laughs> talking. Hey, we're more like than I thought us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, us. Have you checked any at all into? What's causing the problem with the group notices? There's still an issue with that and group notices not coming through in certain groups. Uh, we have not spent much time on that lately. We did make a change to the timing uh, to try to reduce, because those are UDP packets. So one of the ways that they don't get through is that the UDP packet just gets dropped. Um, we don't have a consistent repro, and of course that's the key to anything like that. Well, it still seems like it's a like it's some kind of a um, queue or something that's getting filled up and isn't. Yeah, the trouble is properly. that the queue. The trouble is that the queue is in the router between us and you one of many routers between us and you. Um, it's not a queue we can see, um, at least some of the time. So uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, that's that's a good question, Worley. Whether it's better on the H Acid HTTP viewers, but Acid HTTP, you know, as as important as I think it is, um, it's not the stuff we added to it is not the the high volume in most situations. It's not the high volume 
uh, fetches, right? We added sounds and gestures and what avatar shapes and I think there was at least one other thing. Um, those are not things you're usually uh, pulling a lot of and when you're logging in, I don't think. So I wouldn't expect it to have that much to make that much difference. Yeah, landmarks. That was that was another one. Um, I mean, it's, it might it might make it better. Every every UDP packet we're not sending is is somewhat better. Um, but I don't know for sure. So, lots of other cool projects in the works. Those of you who are paying attention to user groups will know about most of them. But uh, look for them over the course of the next few months. That's pretty much all the news. We'll, we'll discuss not doing them. Um, somewhat um, off topic, but for those of you following along with place pages, we just did an update that includes events. Yes. That was a much requested feature. Yeah, that reminds me. I really feel better about it. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know what he's upset about. Uh, yeah, that reminds me. I've got to put my uh, put an event in for my regular uh, Wednesday morning user group for on the place page for my parcel. We should probably also cancel that user group for next week. Oh yeah, good idea. We now know why Grumpy gets the big box. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you, you have no idea how many things she keeps track of. It's unbelievable. Uh, yes, I do. We have Whirly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could not possibly compete with Whirly. There's just no, not a chance. All right. I think we're done. I will, let's see, uh, looking at the calendar. Uh, yes, next meeting is in two weeks on August the 11th. So, I will see you there. Well, Oz, Grumpy, thank you very much. Thank you, Beth. And by both, I mean all, because I was looking in other windows. Yeah, there's no near it. Oh, there was no near into like have a weird after party with today. It's been a hoot, folks. We'll uh, see you all again. I think Niren is busy hiding under a rock or something, or brooding. He broods a lot. Hi, Karen. If I go, I will.
I think he's busy playing video games. The thing that people do in the summertime. And avoiding sunlight. But Grumpity... Okay, c can we scare you with the sun? Because I mean, uh, with the like 95 person? here. It's terrible. Hey! Hey, Grumpity, would the um, secret prison, prison in Russia do it? Or do I need something else? To just make bad Trump jokes, that could possibly work too. I I didn't realize as I was inviting a scare grumpity contest. Um, but I mean, let's pretend that you guys succeeded, and I was totally running away. <laughs> you don't need to make bad grumpity. Trump jokes; they make themselves. I know, right? He could just open his mouth or tweet something. It's a bad joke.